Thank you, Devante. I am so excited to be joined by Laura Lane and Joe Lane. Thank you guys for being with us. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. Thank you. All right, we are talking about the run for the red, white, and blue this Saturday. Great. Yes. It is exciting. I mean, you've been doing it for so many years. Tell me a little bit about the event. The event is a fundraiser for the Chenault Aviation and Military Museum, and this is our 12th annual event. It is a 5K. It's a 1K. It is a time to come together as a community and start the Memorial Day weekend. Because we also, not only is it a great run, walk, uh, it's a time that we reflect on why we're there and, uh, and the freedoms that we have. So we try to combine all of that into a, a wonderful morning there at the museum. And it truly is, because I got to take part in it last year, and it was great. And I know your favorite part is the flags as you finish the race. Yeah, you know, the, with the last 300 yards of the race were four by six foot American flags, and they're blowing in the breeze because it's always blowing there. So it's a wonderful, wonderful finish. And uh, again, the, the museum is such a wonderful place, and people love to support the museum. And, and so uh, talking about it being this Saturday, that's really close. Yeah. Uh, how do you get registered? Online through uh, noon Friday. Uh, you can register online. Come out to the museum anytime this week uh, between 9 and 4. You can register race day. You can register race day as well. The, okay. the main thing, the race starts at 8 o'clock with the firing of the cannon, as you well know. Mm -hmm. And the, It's a real cannon, and it's really loud. So if you're going to come out to uh, race day to register, make sure you get there about 7 o'clock so we can get you uh, parked and registered mm -hmm. and ready for the, ready for the cannon. And tell me about some of the projects that the money goes back to, because there are so many things you do, like oral histories of veterans. Correct. Uh, the museum, it's so much more than yeah. just a museum in our community. And it's wonderful as a museum. And we always invite people to come out and see all of the amazing things we have. But we also do field trips for, for students in our area. We also have the oral history where veterans can come and tell their stories, and then those go to the Library of Congress. We have PTSD support groups out there as well. We have our uh, disabled American veterans. We have a, a van now that can take, uh, take veterans who need it to the, the hospitals in Jackson or Shreveport. So we do a lot in our community for our active men and women in the military as well as our veterans. Thank you so much for telling us a little bit about this. They're telling us I have to wrap. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're going to have all this information on KNOE.com after the show. We're also going to be live there on Friday, so right. we're going to have so much Before. more information.